Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the third episode here of Terraria Hardcore. I do hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Last episode reached over 1600 likes, which is absolutely fantastic guys. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful support. I truly do appreciate it. And of course, if this is the first video you're watching here on the channel, then you guys are going to want to subscribe and make sure you have those bell notifications on. Because otherwise, you might just miss out on an episode here and they are coming out thick and fast. They're coming out daily guys. Today, since we have a little bit more health on us, I figured maybe we could actually explore the jungle and beyond and just see what's going on, basically. See what other kind of epic stuffs we may have inside of our world. And as a result of doing that, we may just find ourselves some more epic stuff that we really need to have in order to survive. So, yeah, guys, in addition to exploring just a little bit on the surface, I would very much like to get back on the ground and uh, get myself up to the point where I can make myself full platinum armor. Because, honestly, that would mean a earth-shatteringly hefty amount of defense increase. It really, really would. It would be kind of insane, actually. So, so far, not too much going on. But, of course, we'll continue on and see if we can find ourselves uh, maybe some chests or something. Oh, it's raining. Great. 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 What is this? Freaking Britain? Ah, oh, god damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, dealing with rain in this game as well. Ah, you think I care? You think I care? I really, really don't. Why is there gems at the surface? Since when has that been a thing? That's peculiar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you do you there, Terraria. I did want to go ahead and make myself the gem tree farm. And we're going to use the two most valuable things we have here. We've got diamond gem corns and ruby gem corns. Oh, snappers. So, yeah, at some point in today's episode, we're going to have to go ahead and mine ourselves out a whopping great room. And then I think it has to be nice and dark as well for the gem trees to grow. And then once that is all done and dusted, we should be pretty good what the hell what kind of terrain generation is this bro what the devil dude that goes way the hell down what oh yeah oh i ain't dying i ain't dying like that what the seriously what is going on that is incredibly weird terrain generation the jungle is full-on intersecting the ocean I mean, you saw there was even a, a freaking tree up there. What the hell? <laughs> this is so weird, dude. Oh, uh, what is it with me and getting strange seeds, huh? It's very, very weird. I mean, you guys saw us generate the world at the very start. It is completely random. So, yeah, anyways, there we are. We've got that dude. Should we see if we can pop underwater here? See what's going on? I mean, obviously, we don't want to die. Oh, God, I can't even see. Oh, no. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, wait. We can just do that. Yeah. When in doubt, spark it out. Yeah. Ah, ah, hey, son of a gun. All right. What's going on down here, huh? What, what, what's be going down? Oh, no. I know I really can't see. Okay. What about a little bit of this? Oh, wait. Grab that. Okay. And go home. Yeah. What do we get? A sandcastle bucket. Oh, my gosh. So, you know the whole getting platinum goal? What if we could just use the teleportation potion and see what happened? Boom! Ah, damn it! Of course it freaking puts me somewhere I've already explored. Ah, damn it. All right, well, rip. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a little bit peculiar, isn't it? We've got a tree, a jungle tree, a giant jungle tree underground intersecting what appears to be a granite biome. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, cool, I guess. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's actually fantastic. I'm actually very, very chuffed about that. Yeah. Dude, that, that's actually really, really good. We'll be able to get ourselves an increased yield of uh, crop materials and potion materials and such. That's really, really good. Like, I'm actually very happy about that. Sweet. Yeah, get wrecked. Not taking me out like that, sunshine. Not at all. Right, if there's a granite biome, then I usually feel like there's a, a pretty high amount of chance that there's going to be some sort of underground house down there. Okay, so there appears to be just a whole bunch of water. Oh, boy. This could be very, very dangerous. There could be any number of traps around here. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, this is not a very good combination, I have to say. Yeah, go on, you need to get out of it at least. Ow, 21 damage. Okay, that's actually a fair amount, huh? All right, come on, Granite Golem. Oh God, there's two of them now. Okay, right, let me use this thing. Okay, oh nice, a heart statue. This might seem like a little bit of a stupid stretch goal, but I really want to get over to that moon glow and harvest it because it's blooming, right? And when a crop is blooming, it means it will give you seeds back and then you can go ahead and make it into a renewable resource. So yeah, Farmer Python is activated. We're not a goblin anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, 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 we're Farmer Python now. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, try to get ourselves out of here and or see what else there is. Ooh, that goes like way over here. All right, well, oh, hello. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? How's it hanging? Right, there's a little bit of an air pocket there. Nice. Got to utilize these things, guys. Ah! Ooh! Oh, that would have been really, really bad. There was a trap there, and I do believe that it is going to be a boulder trap as well. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> I almost just like grapple landed on that thing. That would have been very bad for our survival there, guys. That would have been very, very bad, in fact. <laughs> oh, God. There's gems, guys. There's gems. I'm channeling my inner gem goblin again. Oh, no. Whoa. Hey, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves a, uh, a beehive here. Well, that's a good find. At least we know where one is. All right, guys. You know what? I feel like we're deep enough to the point where we could actually use this. Danger sense. Spelunker. Shine. Right. All right. Let's see about finding ourselves a bunch of ores. Right. We need enough for, I believe, 38 platinum ore. That is the magic number we're looking for because then that will get us up to 75 uh, platinum bars. Wait, did I say bars before? I don't know. But you get what I mean, basically. We need 75 platinum bars in order to get ourselves to the point of having full platinum armor. And like I say, that will be an incredible amount of defense increase. It truly, truly will be. Oh my god! It's a piranha army! Look at this! Ah, oh, they're all getting two shot though. Up, oh, up! Oh. No, no sir, no sir. Alright, make sure there's no traps down here. Okay, everything's fine. Alright, life crystal. There's a random chest down here which contains... Hey! Oh, warding! Nice! Hey! That's pretty good. Oh, big ouchies! Big ouchies! Come on, I want to, like... This is going to sound stupid, but I want to try and shoot that moon glow off before it, like, stops blooming. There we go! See? I have a good aim sometimes. <laughs> hey, a nature's gift! Cool! All right, I mean, plus movement speed. I mean, it's not exactly useful to our person currently in terms of being a mage. But, I mean, it's not better than nothing, isn't it? Am I the only one thinking that that's a giant diamond vein? Is it a diamond vein or is it sapphire? Oh, it's sapphire. You got me hopes up again, Terraria. Why would you do this to me, man? All right, underground jungle house. What have we got? A freaking flare gun. Well, well, well. My old arch enemy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I'm just going to go and get rid of that immediately. Like, it's just complete poop to me. It is not worth my time. It just isn't. Okay, we've got a fairy on us. So that means you should locate something for me at some point. Let's just make sure there's no traps. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, let's continue on, I guess. See what else. Th is that a marble biome? It is. Okay, cool. Don't mind that. All right, let's pop ourselves down here again. Oh, there is a trap there. You see? Always worthwhile doing that, isn't it? All right, let's get ourselves down here. Please don't let there be an army of hot plights. Otherwise, I am in a bit of trouble. And I don't want to be in trouble, you know? I just want to have a nice, fun time playing the game I love. No! 36 damage. What a joke. Get out of here, son of a gun. Oh, nice. Thanks, bud. We got some diamonds there, and we got one of these. Oh, wait, we got platinum bars here. Nice. Guys, check it out. I've just located the jungle temple as well. I'm actually very, very glad that we located both a beehive and the temple early on, because it just means that we don't have to do it later. Simple as that, you know? It's just nice being nice and prepared for once, not having to go looking for stuff. Just being able to know where things are is just nice, man. It is. It's just nice. There we are. There's some platinum. 
45. All right, we need another 15. And then the magic number is achieved. Whoa. Okay. Two heart crystals next to each other. Don't mind if I do. That is very, very cool. Okay, nice. And there's also a chest over here. Ooh. I feel like we're finding the good stuff now. What have we got down here? Oh my god, another water chest. There's two water chests. Ah, oh, traveling merchants just arrived. What is this? An inner tube. Grants the ability to float in water. Wow. All right, sandcastle bucket. You can go away immediately. Uh, stone blocks. Eh, I don't really need them right now. And then shurikens. I mean, 16 is not really a good amount, is it? So, yeah, I don't think we need to be too fussed about it. Let's not forget this one down here. Okay. Oh, grav potion. Yep. Oh, no, I do want that cobweb, actually. Uh, that can go away. That can go away. And everything's good. Right, make sure there's no traps. There isn't. Okay, good. Oh, always good to check, guys. Always good to check. Hey, 16 damage. I mean, I do have a fair amount of health now, which is uh, very, very nice. I wasn't expecting to find quite this quantity of heart crystals, but I'm not going to complain about it. Being prepared is always nice. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid spiky slimo! No one likes you. You're the worst kind of slime in the game. Like, honestly, not even the boss slimes are as bad as that, I would have to suggest. Although, I don't know. I haven't even taken on the, uh, the queen slime yet. That's never been something I've done. Come on, buddy. There you go. Get wrecked. Okay, let's pop ourselves in here. And what do we have? Feral claws. Nice. Increased melee speed is always welcome in my books. Okay, I'm just going to break stuff. I like explodifying things. Oh, God, that's falling back down. Okay, that's not cool. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's put that on our person. And I tell you what, we will replace that. Yes. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Enables auto swing for melee weapons. Whoa. Dude, that's incredible. They have buffed up the Feral Claws, like, incredibly so. I didn't even realize they did that. <laughs> wow. Shows how little I play this game. Oh, diamonds. Nice, guys. We may be able to make a diamond staff. Once we get the armor up and going, the diamond staff is the next thing I'd like. Oh, there's a trap in this water. I can see it. Get out of here, you embarrassment. Right, there we are. A little bit of that. And what do you know? Even more life. How amazing is that? <laughs> Hey, I just realized we've got 18 platinum bars now. Okay, okay. It turns out we might actually be done with our goal. Uh, but with that said, I don't know if I have enough to get a diamond staff as well. Uh, so, ouchie. Maybe worth us continuing on. Oh, it's definitely worth us continuing on. Look at that. Yet another life crystal. Damn, dude. The luck is just insane today. I am loving this. <laughs> I miss this, man. I miss having epic lucky streaks at Terraria. Damn, dude. Wow, this chest here is well and truly guarded, isn't it? Ow! Son of a gun. Oh, my word. <laughs> hey, look, stop hitting me. Come on. What have I done? I'm just trying to rob your houses. Damn, man. You don't have to be. Just take a chill. Take a chill pill. Well, wasn't that the old saying? Take a chill pill? Oh, dear. Ha! Okay, still got this guy to take out, though. Hang on, hang on. What's, what's, what, what's he playing at, huh? And shoe spikes. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that. I'll take it. I won't complain about it. All right, let's chuck that down there. Get that. And let's do a little bit of escape -o. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Oh, there is another house down here. Whoa. Wow, this is incredible, dude. Ah, darn it! Mistakes were made. We didn't see what the traveling merchant had, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, he could have had something amazing and I wouldn't even know about it. Ah, uh, that ain't cool, is it? I really goofed up there. I apologize. Sometimes I am just incredibly stupid. Hey, get out of here, you embarrassment. How about a rally? No? Ah, darn it. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm not on that much of a lucky streak, huh? Hey, buddy. Hey, Mr. Hornet. Go on, get out. Ah! Okay, careful, careful, careful. Another heart statue, though. That's pretty cool. We could get that. We've got increased armor penetration, which basically means we do a little bit more damage. My mortal enemy again! The flare gun. Get out of here, dude. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? It's over the right-hand side there. I can see it. I don't know if YouTube compression does the video any justice. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Really, Terraria? You're doing this to me now? This is going to be hell. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 300 health, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Ah! Why? Why did I do that? Why? Seriously. What is wrong with me? 
that I would think that that was a good thing to do. Will you please go away? I genuinely hate these slimes. They are the most enormous pain in their butt. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, am I going to survive this? Five, four. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. That would have been the end of it. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've got no health. I've got no health. I've got no health. No. 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 Oh, a little bit of health. Okay. Oh. Let me go home. Let me go home. Let me go home. For God's sake, let me go home. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I wasn't panicking. I, de I definitely wasn't panicking. That was not pure, unadulterated panic you just heard in my voice there. We're all good. See, I told you. Everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Oh, okay. 65 platinum bars. What can we do with that supply, huh? What can we do? Wait, where is the platinum? There it is. All right, let's see how many we can make. Uh, 78. Okay, so we can just about make ourselves the platinum armor. Unfortunately, we do not have enough for a diamond staff, as far as I know. We've got the sapphire staff there, but we do need ourselves some more platinum bars. I do have an idea as to what I could do to potentially better the situation. If we were to go ahead and try to find ourselves a sky island, you know, now that we have access to graph potions, if I was to find a sky island, I feel like there's a pretty good possibility that I might be able to find myself some platinum on those sky islands, right? Because that's just what happens, isn't it? You find some high-end ores on there, as well as, you know, the chests and such. So, yeah. Seems like a pretty good idea. And look at that, guys. We've got 24 defense. And you know what? Just because it's a blood moon out as well, I'm going to go ahead and put on some buffs here. And there we are. We now have 32 defense. Um. Ah! So I just came to the realization that, uh, uh, that doing this during a blood moon is definitely not the brightest idea I've ever had in the world. What the hell? There's freaking... What? What are they doing up here? Get out of here. Hey, we got a balloon guarding one as well. Okay. Uh, there's absolutely zero ores up here though. What? Okay. That's not cool. All right. I'm going to put that on right there. Oh my God. What the hell? Like seriously, what the hell? That's a, that's a lot of harpies. <laughs> Oh my god. Right, if I do that, I might be able to start pelting them a little bit. Well, I guess the good news here is that I'm starting to farm a small supply of feathers, which means I should be able to make graph potions just a little bit easier in future. Normally, I don't make graph potions. I normally don't need them past a certain point. Like, once you've discovered all of the sky islands, I just never have a need for graph potions, you know? It's just, it's kind of silly in that respect. Like, graph potions are, like, probably one of the most underused things there is. You use it for sky islands, and and let's be honest, what else do you use them for? Let me know. Let me know. Genuinely, I want to know. Check it out, guys. We can start making ourselves mana crystals. Look at that. It takes five fallen stars as opposed to just three now. I mean, to be honest, I always thought that uh, getting mana was just way too easy before. So actually, I'm pretty in some... I'm pretty in favor of that change. So yeah, I don't mind it, man. I don't mind it. Come on, round to come, fellas. All right, come on. We're just going to try and finish these guys off now. And then the rate of these guys spawning in should be way, way less. Yes. Yes. Okay, fantastic. There we are. Come on. I feel comfortable enough getting just out here now. Whoop, whoop. Boom. Dead. Boom. Dead. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. You're dead as well. Okay, as are you. Wait, can't you go ahead and get the giant harpy feather pre-hard mode? Isn't that something you are able to do? I'll be honest, I can't remember. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, get that guy out. There we go. And he's done. Right. <sighs> Back to it. All right, guys, let's do this thing. Nice. There we are, platinum. I told you, man, you get high-end ores up here, don't you? All right, what have we got? Star Fury. And we can have it be fully auto as well. That is a hell of an upgrade. I'm actually pretty happy about that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I told you. <laughs> Wow, I was literally just talking about that. Was I not just talking about that, guys? <laughs> what? Wow. That is that is that is quite something. That is quite something, that luck. 
<laughs> All right, guys, we have oh, about 20 seconds left. Uh, I mean, we could probably see if there's anything like right above us, but I'd be pretty doubtful. We've got 10 seconds left. We've got to try and factor in our fall as well, of course. Ah, darn it. But then it gets... Oh, my God. Is that a sky lake? I think it's just a sky lake. Uh, no, it's not. It's an actual one. Wow. Dude, that's amazing. All right. And there they are. The fledgling wings. We have ourselves pretty hard made wings. There they are, guys. Oh, menacing. What does this have? Precise? I'd rather have menacing than that. Nice. Right, okay, there's a couple more bits of platinum down there. We'll grab them, and we'll get back to base. How does that sound? So, the moment of truth, guys. Do we have enough? I would be very, very surprised if we didn't have enough. Uh, diamond stuff. Yeah, there it is. Uses 8 mana, 23 magic damage. Ha! And it's a quick one. Okay, nice. I mean, celestial or masterful or mythical would, of course, be better. But I'm certainly not going to, you know, turn my nose up at this bad boy. Because it is a bad boy. Oh my goodness. It is very, very nice. I'm very, very happy with that one. Now, of course, at some point, we're going to need to go on a little bit of a star rampage, right? We really need to get ourselves more mana, don't we? So, yeah. Maybe in a future episode, we just sort of start scouring the world and seeing what we can find. You know? That just seems like a good idea to me. But... What else seems like a good idea is actually ending this episode here. I know I said I was going to do the gem tree farms today, but we kind of got swept up with a whole bunch of other stuff going on, huh? <laughs> uh, but you know what? In some cases, that is really not a bad thing. And today has definitely been a case of it not being a bad thing. We've got a lot of epic stuff today, my friends. 300 health, full platinum armor, diamond stuff, and a whole bunch of stuff from the Sky Islands. I wasn't even expected to do Sky Islands today, but we did. And we got epic stuff out of it, so I can't complain. So... Yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like if you haven't already. And hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell as well, so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.